Hi, welcome back to Lifestyle with me, Pam Joseph. Um, remember at the beginning of the show, I said it's all about Christmassy and the Christmassy feel. Well, we've got sport out of the way. Now we're going to get about how we feel. So this is about music. It's about laying back and, and listening to lovely music and talking about music with certain artists, the one I have next to me now. Uh, her name is Lila Lefleur. I like saying that, Lila Lefleur. Um, Paris born, uh, of Congolese uh, orientation. And um, we call her a vicious bass recording artist, but she deals with soul, R&B, and Afro soul. She's gonna explain all about that to, to you. She's actually in the studio promoting a new single. Hopefully it's gonna be out for January next year. So it's all good, Lila Lefleur. How are you? I'm okay. Or should I say something in French? Um, I should know a bit of uh, French. <laughs> Comment ça va? Ça va très bien et toi? Huh? <laughs> nice one. Now, let's go. <laughs> born, in, born in Paris? Yes. Of a Congolese uh, parents? Yeah. Okay. Um, how long were you at Paris? How, what age did you actually leave Paris? Leave um, I left Paris when I was four. But oh, we moved to yeah. Normandy, which is still in France. Uh -huh. Yeah, then um, I moved in the UK when I was 19. 19? Yeah. Okay, all right. So you've yeah. got your strong uh, English accent, it's, it's good. You, you speak English well. <laughs> but you still have, I should say, your accent is French. Yeah. Um, but can't you, get rid of that you can't get rid no, of that. No. You can't get rid of that at all. <laughs> okay, um, music. Did you uh, get into music in France or did you start your musical feel? Uh, over here? Mm, I come from a family of musicians. Oh. My uncle is one of the best African artists in, in Congo. Like His name is Dibru Dibala. So he's the one who took me to the studio. I was his backing singer. Wow. Yeah, and then in church also. I was yeah. singing in church. Yeah. I've always been into music. Yes. From the age of eight, I told my dad, I'm going to be a singer. That's what I'm going to do. You said that That's it. from then. Yeah. Who were your influences at that time? I loved yeah. Tina Turner. She's bad. Great icon, great icon, <laughs> Tina Turner. Wow, we. I love Tina Turner yeah. and Otis Reading. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Those brilliant. are my artists. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant artists. Uh, can I say about the Tina Turner? Is that a sort of Tina Turner look? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, okay, so you, you decided very early on you wanted to become a singer yeah. music is your world and yeah. you're going to stay so choosing the genres how did you it was the soul and r and b and and the afro so how did did you just say specifically this is what i want to do you wasn't going to do anything apart from um i always wrote like soul r and b that's the first thing that comes mm. to me but i love my african music as well yeah. And I, like Congolese music especially, and I listened from the 60s, 70s, I go way back. Oh, wow. So I thought, you know what, let me just mix both of, yeah. both of it, because I can't do pure African music. Yes, yeah. But I want to mix both yeah, and do something that, that's different. Yeah, because yeah. you, you westernised, because born in, in France yeah. and then raised again in England, of yeah. course you've got to westernise. Yeah. So you're sold on your R&B. Uh, again, I'm going to ask you, in, in, in that category, R&B, who are your influences in the R&B to say R. Kelly, ah. he's the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aliyah. Oh yes. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Got a great choice of um, inspirational mm -hmm. um, individuals there. So okay, your music is very positive. This is how it's been described. Your music mm -hmm. is very positive, and your songs are inspired by your own personal experiences yeah. as well. So um, how do you do that? You, something has happened in your life and you feel, well, let me put that on paper and let me make it into a tune. Definitely, because sometimes I find it difficult like, to just speak out. So I think me writing how I feel, what I've been through can touch people. So mm. that's why I, and I, can't, I can't sing something that I haven't been through. Right on. Right you know, on, because yeah. I know people won't connect with me, you know. Yeah. No, I have to sing something that mm. I've been through and I yeah. know people will just feel it when I perform. Yes, yeah, you know? so indeed. Okay, all right, so let's talk about your nomination because I, I understand. No, 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 it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Um, it is. To, to be um, I'm grateful. nominated mm -hmm. is, is a win in itself. So yeah. you was nominated for the BEFTA Award. Um, that was September 2012 for the Best Female Act. Yeah. One, when you got that nod, when you 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 know you was told you, yeah. how did that make you feel? Did it? Um, did it I was you? shocked first of all because I mm. went to the nomination. I was yeah. called to perform at the nomination, which yeah. I did. And when I was back backstage, yeah, did I have feel? I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, okay. And I went and spoke to the founder of the paper yes. and I said, how come you nominated me? And I was just, oh really? 
Oh, you're oh, modest. You know? No, I, I wasn't expecting that. I yeah. thought my manager nominated me at first. And she uh. said, no, 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 I haven't seen anything. You know, uh. and I was like... I wasn't expecting. I was very, very sure. I don't get yeah. surprised that easily. Yes, but, but that I was one really, 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 really yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, well done to you. Well done Thank to you. you. As I say, nominations alone, yeah. that's a win, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But you've collaborated or, mm -hmm. or been involved with loads of huge artists. <laughs> to say, I mean, to, to name but a few, we go into to some of them. But uh, again, it, you, how do you feel when you are with someone? Let me just name, if I can. Say, for instance, you was uh, featured on Jay-Z's uh, Rock Nation. Someone like Jay-Z is internationally known, internationally known. Yeah. And then to be collaborated or working or being involved in anything he does, how does that get you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Oh, to me, yeah. it's just more experience, really, yeah. you know? And working with K-Coke was good. It was great. K-Coke as well? K-Coke. Yeah. That, that's yeah. his artist. Yes, He's yeah. the guy that did the featuring with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the video came out in May this year. Yeah. Yeah. But under the umbrella of Jay-Z. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've seen what he can do. Definitely. Yeah, we can see what Jay-Z... Yeah. Having that name behind mm -hmm. um, any of the artists rockets you as well, doesn't it? Yeah. And it gives you that recognition. Yeah. Big time. Mm, definitely. Yeah, so, so how was that for you? How did you um, really take that in? You know, first of all, me getting involved in a project, I was working the student in a different mm. project, and K-Cook's man management were there, and they loved my voice, and they're yeah. like, oh, you know, I've got girls coming here, but no, your voice, there's something, that French accent, there's wow, something, so yeah. please, can you come back and work with Keiko? Yeah. So uh, I did the track, he wasn't signed then, he got ah. signed a year later, and then People phoned me, oh, okay, go, go, sign up. I was like, oh, really? And then the mix, they came out. Uh -huh. Then this year, they've called me, let's do the video. And then that was it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so it's amazing that, that, you know, sometimes you're in the right place, you're in the right time, with yeah. the right sort of people, and it all comes <laughs> on top. Yes. It's absolutely amazing. But we've got some other names. Mm -hmm. um, you, 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 you talk about the fact that you, you, gave, you gave us an idea of people that you sort of like look up to and what have you um but there's also other people that you say change your lives as well your life as well and mm -hmm. talking about erica badu talking about jill scott you know people like that um these are women in their own right yeah. you know in this world that we live in it's a tough world the mu music world right but to be black and to be female as well mm -hmm. we all expect people to say you got the voice but it's still hard uh, competition definitely yeah definitely. so you've looked at these women and you've said yeah um you've overcome a lot of obstacles and and what have you used you've made it and this is how you 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 see that you could be strong like that definitely because mm. um when i write music i'm i want to you know i try to write songs that will stay like 10 years later people will be listening to it not just a song that will just be popping in the club for three one months one night and one day it. yeah yeah no and these women they've done it they've got songs that Come on, she's got yeah you yeah. know they've got songs that sometimes when you feel somehow you put it on it Ah, she knows. <laughs> there you go. It's true, it's true. And you know, ten years time, twenty. I want people to be ah. You remember that Lila La Fleur's record? Oh, let's play, it, man. You yeah. know, that's it. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So we know that you um, are um, in the studio, and yeah. um, you've um, done a, a, a single, a new single. A, 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 I'm not going to say the title because <laughs> you're going to do that. Uh, but you, you are promoting this new single yeah. um, and we're hoping that um, it's going to be released um, next year, January. Yeah. Um, talk to us about it. All right. The title of it is Ride You. Can we say that again slowly? <laughs> the title is Ride You in brackets. Mutuashi. Mut Mutuashi. Mutuashi. Yeah. Means ride you. No, Mutuashi is a traditional is a traditional dance from my tribe. Oh okay, hold on a minute, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Rewind. <laughs> okay. Ride ride you. you in a traditional Congolese way. Is that what you're saying? No, ride you because when I say ride you and I put brackets mutuashi, just to tell people that I'm riding the mutuashi dance. Oh, so you just... It's the dance. I'm talking about the dance. You're just talking about the dance. Yeah. And in no way it's on a horse then, the dance. No, show no, me. no. <laughs> I have to show you. I'll teach you, you something. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make a show of this afterwards. Because I'm just like, I'm going, I'm going all over the place with this. I'm imagining very, something very else. Easy. Very, very easy. Very easy. Yeah. But it's called Ride You. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, you, you got an inspiration because it is a dance of your people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What happened is that um, 
last year when I spent Christmas in France with my parents, my dad was playing all those traditional music and I was like, oh, I love it. I remember listening to that when I was small. And then he said, you know, your grandma, she used to dance that funerals. That's a traditional thing. And back home, they call me mom. My uncles call me mom because I look exactly like my grandma. Mm. And I thought, you know, I've got this friend, this producer, Vini, who produced this track. And when I listened to it, I thought about my grandma straight away. Mm. And I thought, you know what? She passed away a long time ago. I've never mm. met her. So let me do this song for her. So I'm just riding the mutashi for my grandma in heaven, you know? That's a bit of a, that's a, bit of a clue That's there. the way you dance. Right on, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> That's a bit of a clue. Mm -hmm. You are going to do this for us now because you've got all the viewers now <laughs> saying to themselves, what on earth is she doing with me? You know, this. And now we've just seen something else mm -hmm. here as well. Um, <laughs> this is good. Um, excellent. That is hopefully going to be released in January 13. Yeah. And what else uh, are you involved in for, the, for uh, 2013? Other projects, other collaborations, um, perhaps? Obviously, I'm, I'm recording my album as well. Excellent. And hopefully, uh, July. August next year, I have my album now. Brilliant. And I'm an activist as well. Oh, talk to us. Right. I don't know if you heard about the war going on in Congo right now. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm recording a song that will be the second charity song. But I've done the first one, which is called Girlfriend, okay. that I released in 2010, that I gave to charities who help women who've been raped and for the children too. And now I'm doing another song talking about the war and what's going on and just mm. spreading the word you know yes and i'm going to sing that in english not in french or yes. English, but in english so that the message can go to everyone yes you know? of course yeah. because there's no much people talking about what's going on in congo you right know? Yeah. right um so that's called girlfriend you say girlfriend yeah. that would be that was the first song the next one would be leave her alone mm. Mm. clear message there leave her alone where can people read up about all of these uh, particular charities and the things that you're doing as well oh uh, if you go on my website www.lilalafleur.com everything's there lilalafleur.com that's quite simple but you're going to do that again and and hopefully anyway th there's going to be a, a written uh, message there okay. you can see the spelling of of uh, leader's name and everything else that's okay. very good what you're doing you're very into gospel very much into gospel you're very much devout christian definitely yeah most definitely yeah. i talk, can't do nothing talk, without yeah. yeah big daddy i can't do anything without of him course. talk to you us know? about about your um i don't know your involvement in the church and what have you yeah um i used to do worship leading you know and even some of even now, some of the love songs that I write, people think that I'm talking about a man when I'm not. Ah. I sing it to my God. Of course, yeah. you know, if I'm if I'm standing today, it's Him. Mm. If I'm alive today, it's Him. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brilliant. And and also, um, you, don't worry. You, you released this in 2006. That was your debut. Yeah, that and was, it was um, that was a gospel track. That was very much gospel, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It got mm -hmm. mixed um, in America. With CC Winner and CC Got, we know, mm. came out on the CD and stuff, yeah. I went on blackgospel.com, I was on the God Channel, and so yeah, it was really good. Yeah, we mustn't leave that one out as well. Yeah. Um, also, um, you, you've written a book? Is that yeah, true? Step Into Your Calling, Worship Leading. That you can download free on the internet. Yes. I believe the word of God is to be given freely. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And any of my song, gospel songs that I wrote, I never saw them. I used to give my CDs away. I don't believe in. Buying Christian, no. okay. I believe right. in giving yeah. it. Okay. Freely, he has given to me. Yeah. Freely have to give as well. All right. So, so on the, your website that that you you spoke about, yeah. we can um, the viewers can look at uh, back into your, you know, the, the two thousand six. Don't worry. Yeah. And also into your your book, how they can download your book and mm -hmm. everything else about your tours and about the things you're, you're going to be doing mm -hmm. and about your single yeah. Ride You which we're going to be seeing <laughs> um, My Lady perform the um, <laughs> dance bit later on so what I'm going to have you do now mm -hmm. Lila look straight into the camera here of my, my yeah. lady here yeah. and very slowly give out your uh, website address for us please right. com. Okay, if we spell the word Lila, because it's... Okay, Lila, I'll read yeah, okay. yeah, I think so. L-I-L-E-S-L-A-F-L-E-U-R. Dot com. Excellent. Um, you are going to be coming back later on the show, because we want to... We want to hear a bit of Ride You anyway, <laughs> but we really want to see the dance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we really want to see that. So, um, don't despair. 
Um, Lila's going to come back and we're going to be seeing some of um, the dance and she's going to be giving us a little bit of a, a little tweet of Raiju for us to hear something, yeah? You don't mind us doing You don't mind that. See? Know. See? It's well, you want in now, Show yeah? business now? No, no, no. It's all right. Do it later. Okay, okay no problem. Let everyone prepare themselves for this or Raiju. Um, all right, so we're going to take a short break now. All right? See you soon. <laughs>